In this video, I would like to talk about how to start a Jasper Report server instance on Amazon using a pre-configured image or AMI. First of all, I would like to mention that the recommended way is to actually use one of our cloud formation templates, which is documented on our community wiki here. I will have a link to this page at the end of the video. So there are a bunch of scenarios like launching a simple instance, um, using a virtual private cloud, configuring a cluster, and a few others. And here you have the steps documented and also links to different regions. If you're using this approach, meaning a, one of the cloud formation templates, you will have a better documented output and better options to troubleshoot your instance in case anything goes wrong. Now, if you want to go with the manual steps using one of the pre-configured images or AMIs, this is the process that you want to follow. And I'm assuming that you already have a Amazon account and I'm already logged in here. And once you do that, you can go to EC2 and found the pre-configured images here under AMIs menus and make sure that you have private images selected and I will just quickly go through the steps. For the purpose of this video we will use a bring your own license template for version 6.3 which is the latest at this moment. So we we'll just go to launch and select the appropriate image size. Make sure not to select a too small one because if you have if you do not have enough memory your Jasper Report server just will not start on the instance that you create. So you want to have at least two gigs of RAM. So I'm gonna select M3 medium. Uh, you can select virtual private cloud and also an IAM role if you want to. This is sufficient size for our purposes, but you can add more if you need to. You can also add tags to your instance. And then you want to configure the security groups. By default, there is only SSH access over port 22 available here. So you will usually want to add also an HTTP access. Port 80 is the default one for Tomcat, where just the report server is going to be deployed on our instance and here you can also configure the IPs from which you will be able to access your just report server and you can add custom or your own or the default value which is any IP so the next step is just taking me through the options that I selected and also when I click on launch there is a warning that I'm going to need a security key pair to log in to my instance over SSH. I already have a several key pairs generated and I just need to have the private part of the key with the PEM extension available in my system, which I already do. But if you do not have one, you want to create a new key pair here. Now, I'm not actually going to launch this instance because I already have one configured and running. So I'm just going to show you uh, EC2. And here I have the running instances. This is how it looks like. Here we have the security groups. We configured the instance type uh, ID and these are the public DNS and IP which you will use to actually access your instance. Now one more step you're going to have to do is upload a license to your deployed Jasper Report server and there is a separate video and detailed article how to do that but I'm not gonna go into that right now I will post a video to that video and article at the end of my video and I'm just going to open it because I already have license uploaded. And then when I click on login, I'm actually logged in already. By default, only super user is available. And in order to log in, you will have to use your instance ID 
right here as a password. That will be your default password for super user. And once logged in as super user, you will be able to enable all the other users on the machine.